Just how deep is the deepest point on Earth? And what scary things live down there? When was this deep watery abyss first stumbled upon? In this video, we dive 11,000 meters below sea level and tell you everything you need to know about the Mariana Trench. Trust me, this trench is as deep as deep gets. Located in a remote part of the Pacific Ocean, the trench lies somewhere between three countries, the Philippines, Japan, and Papua New Guinea. This crescent-shaped section in the Earth's crust has fascinated the world since the late 1800s when the trench was first found by a British sub patrolling the high seas. Marine biologists are shocked at the kind of strange creatures able to survive at this extreme depth. Geologists are seeking to discover how and when this deep gorge in the Earth was formed. Welcome to a place of bone-crushing water pressure, freezing cold temperatures, and active mud volcanoes. Named after the Mariana Islands that lie about 200 kilometers from the trench. The Mariana Trench is not just the deepest point of the ocean, it is also believed to be one of the oldest seabeds on the planet, dating back to about 180 million years old. Yeah, that's pretty old. The seafloor at the Marianas Trench is so old because it's been so long since it was born. So it was born in the equivalent of the Eastern Pacific today, and it's just been going on longer than, than any other place in the oceans before it's been subducted. According to one 2021 estimate, pressure sensors found the deepest spot in the trench to be 35,876 feet or 10,935 meters. Other estimates vary by less than 1,000 feet or 305 meters. But let's be honest, at that extreme, a few meters are probably not worth fighting for. Remember, less than 10% of the world's ocean has been mapped with complete accuracy. But thanks to satellites that bounce radar beams off the ocean's surface, we can now accurately map the ocean. The world's major navies spend a lot of time and effort developing submarine hunting technology. Then the hydrographers discover that you can use this to chart the bottom of the sea. And it's an awful lot cheaper and easier than using large numbers of sailors pulling on ropes. And if you still can't fathom how deep it is, let me explain. If you were to turn the highest mountain in the world, the Mount Everest upside down and submerge it in the ocean, its peak would still sit two kilometers below the waves. If you go to the top of Mount Everest and look around and say that there is snow and ice and that is Mount Everest, you miss most of that mountain. And it is the same thing with the trench. So you might think that this spot is where we are closest to the center of the earth. It's not. Let me tell you why. That's because our planet bulges out at the equator, which means the radius at the poles is about 16 miles less than the radius at the equator. So parts of the Arctic Ocean seabed are actually closer to the Earth's geometric center than this trench. The Mariana Trench is 1,580 miles or 2,542 kilometers long, more than five times the length of the Grand Canyon the trench goes on for 1,500 miles before hitting the seabed. And while it might be long, the trench is only 43 miles wide. But how was this deep trench in the Earth's crust even formed? Trenches like these are created when two tectonic plates collide, forcing one beneath the other and creating a deep chasm or trench in the Earth's surface. In the case of the Mariana Trench, it was the Philippine plate crashing into the much bigger and older Pacific plate. The uh, heavy cold plates at the trenches are sinking down into the mantle and pulling the plates apart uh, at the ridges. And the magma just passively uh, fills in the gaps. Mind you, the Mariana Trench is not the only trench out there. There are actually 50 big ocean trenches around the world. And just in case you were hoping to run into vibrantly colored coral reefs and gardens at the bottom, you might want to think again. No sunlight reaches the bottom of the trench, which means no regular plants can grow. But you can still see diatoms, a special type of algae, that don't need light to survive. And because this deep gorge is so far from land, terrestrial plants rarely find their way to the bottom. Even dead plankton sinking from the surface must drop thousands of feet to reach the deepest part of the trench. Remember, for every 10 meters you go down into the ocean, the pressure of the water goes up by one unit. 
So by the time you hit the floor of the trench, the massive column of water above the seabed exerts a tremendous pressure of 15,150 PSI. That's more than eight tons per square inch, 703 kilograms per square meter. This number is pretty hard to wrap your head around, so we'll make it easier. It's the kind of pressure you'll feel if 100 fully grown elephants were standing on your head. Or for that matter, 50 jumbo jets piled on top of you. So yeah, there's pretty much no chance you'd ever casually scuba dive your way into the trench. Your lungs and bones will collapse in the blink of an eye. Now what about the temperature? As a rule of thumb, deep waters have a more or less consistent temperature. Anything about 200 meters below the surface is below four degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. In other words, the deeper you go, the cooler it gets. Remember, cold water is denser than warm water, so it will sink downwards. The extreme depth means that temperatures are cold all year. But that said, there are thermal vents throughout the trench. With water gushing out of these vents, hot enough to scald anyone at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. But don't worry, anyone not inside a hardy vessel would be crushed by the crazy high pressure anyway. I went through pretty much all of my electrical power and had to be swapping batteries around and circuits around. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a great journey. I saw some really interesting things on the bottom. Remember, the Mariana Islands are actually a chain of volcanoes called the Ring of Fire that encircles the Pacific Ocean. Beneath the blue calm waters of the Pacific, there are many strange undersea volcanoes and bubbling pockets in the seafloor that release hot sulfur and carbon dioxide into the water. It is these minerals that become the major source of nourishment for all the organisms at the bottom of the trench. According to one team of Japanese researchers, there are a whopping 200 different types of microorganisms that live at the bottom of the trench. The most common of these teeny tiny creatures are single-celled xenophyophores that feed on sediment on the seabed. But in 2017, we also found another unusual creature in the trench water, the Mariana snailfish, which lives at a depth of about $8,000 mm. There is no doubt that this strange place has caught popular imagination for centuries. In the book Meg, best-selling author Steve Alton relates the story of Jonas Taylor, a man who explored the trench only to find himself face to face with a long extinct predator, the Megalodon. Pitch dark, bone crushing pressure and a freezing temperature between one to four degrees Celsius. Not gonna lie, compared to the Mariana Trench, some parts of the ocean look like the shallow safe end of a pool. To learn more about fascinating places around the world, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out in the future.